Welcome to the CD1025 Big Room Bar. He's live at the Newport Music Hall tonight. His great new album is called Arranging Time. It's out now on Capitol Records. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Yorn. How about a song, Pete? Then we'll chat a little bit. Sounds good. Time the new album on Capitol live tonight at the Newport Music Hall. Get your tickets. Two words that are uh, very much part of rock lore. Pete Yorn lost weekend. Was that at all a thought in your mind, John Lennon's lost weekend at, at any level writing that song? Definitely. That's where I first heard the phrase, you know, from John Lennon's lost weekend when he went out to California. Uh, I went crazy with Harry Nielsen, and I heard that years ago. And uh, I always thought it was kind of funny. But I think the song, you know, it has a lot of things going on. It's kind of about the opposite for me. It's kind of, uh, you know, it kind of speaks of how 
you go do that, and then after you get home and you just kind of need a vacation from your vacation because you're just so burnt out. So it's kind of like a, a cautionary tale about excess, I think. Yeah, I think I, I read, I've read about it several times. I read a book about Phil Spector because the, John Lennon and Phil Spector were working together when John Lennon disappeared into a, a bottle out in L.A. back in the 70s, and that the studio that they were working in, they just let random people just come in and party with them, and, and the place got destroyed, and... Phil Spector sitting there with his gun in front of him, and it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It's crazy. I don't recommend it. So, Pete, we were uh, we were doing a little math this morning, and it's our estimate that this is your eighth time performing on CD1025, but only your first time here in what is actual now a public house, a bar. What do you think of that? Do you ever run into a radio station with its own bar? First time. This is amazing. Uh, you know, last time I was here, you guys were just... Maybe packing up the old place. We were. All the windows were yeah. gone. You were the last one to perform in the old place down the street. It's like wow. five blocks up the road, and it looked like it had been bombed out. All the windows were gone. We had plastic hanging everywhere, one microphone, you know. Yeah, this is the nicest radio station I've ever been to. Oh, well, thank you. Give it up for the CD1025 yeah. Big Room Bar. Yeah. It's very kind of you to say, Pete. We're actually not on the air. The radio station no longer exists. We're just a bar. That's fine. I'm no, used I'm to being teasing. in bars. I'm teasing. All right, uh, how about another song? We'll chat a little bit more. What are you going to play? Yeah, we can, we're going to play a song called Halifax from Arranging Time. You know what? You know it. Joey K knows everything. Here we go. One, two, three. Terrorize the ones you love the most. Take a while and get back from your Live in the Big Room Bar on CD1025, arranging time, the great new album on Capitol, live at the Newport Music Hall tonight. A song called Halifax. Is that at all a nod to uh, a band that I understand that, that you're uh, quite fond of, uh, Sloan? At uh, least in the title, you know, just kind of a, like a I think hat that, tip? I think that band put Halifax, the city, on my radar for sure. Yeah. 
They're great. They're the best. They're my that's, favorites. That's one of the things. Canada's almost like a parallel universe in that you have bands that are famous up there, and then you just cross the border. You go a few miles, and nobody knows who they are. And it, they're so great. So they're Early on, when I saw them, probably like 1998, at the same club, the Troubadour, where, where uh, Lennon was having part of his Lost Week and where he heckled the Smothers Brothers, I saw Sloan play. And they were so good that I wanted to quit uh, music that night because I was like, these guys are so amazing, and no one even knows who they are in America, even though they were huge in Canada. And uh, I was very discouraged. And then after the show, I walked out onto the street, Santa Monica Boulevard, I was smoking a cigarette, and this guy comes up to me, and he's like, what's up? And we start chatting, and his name is Walt Vincent, and we ended up making music for the morning after together. So like, it was a weird uh, night where I wanted to quit, and then I found a guy who would become my partner in making a lot of music. So it was a weird thing. And here you've circled back, and you and Walt worked together on this record. He did. He did about half the record with me, yeah. Now, was this, uh, uh, as I find when time goes by, if you're fond of someone, you can pick up right where you left off. Did you find that uh, in your relationship with him? Yeah, we did. You know, we made, w w we made the first two records together, and then we didn't work just because I, I wanted to try different things, I think, you know, for a few years. And then... Uh, I ran into him maybe 2012 after not seeing him for a bit, and he had just moved out of his house in Culver City to a new place in downtown Los Angeles, like a new loft, and he said he was putting together a studio and uh, come, on, come check it out. So I went to go just check it out, and of course, thank you. Is that, oh, thank you. <laughs> early, early, we get going. Uh, Did someone just someone buy just you a cocktail? It looks like a rum and coke or something or something or a whiskey. It looks, it looks like good booze. Okay, back to my story. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I went to go see Walt's new, new little home studio, and uh, you know, within 10 minutes, all we ever did was record music together. So we were like talking, and I was like, well, let's just record a song. And we recorded a song called uh, Centuries that never made it onto the record or anything like that, but it kind of reminded me really quick why I love working with him, and it was just kind of like, uh, just kind of a nice reunion with an old friend. Some things change some things stay the same and i know your life has really changed and that uh, you have a new baby girl in your life yes tell us about <laughs> ellie leb 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 is you know the greatest thing ever people before my wife had the baby like oh your life's gonna change your life's gonna change and i'm like what do you mean by it? it's like this ominous thing but i don't know it's changed for the better she's the greatest thing and uh I, you know this is my first time on tour you know having a baby so it's a little different uh, energy, but uh, it's uh, it's great. I'm psyched to get home and see her on Friday. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, with everything going on in the world, if you if you need to just feel good and warm and fuzzy, go to Pete's Facebook page and look at a short video he has of your daughter trying peas for the first time. <laughs> she is absolutely adorable. Thanks so much. Like Gerber baby, adorable. But uh, the reaction is one that I remember with my daughters. Peas are just, I don't even know why they bother. Who, no babies like those. Yeah, she was like, what does she look like? It was, she was sucking on a lemon or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, she's adorable, a sweetheart. Thanks. Hey, Pete Yorn, thanks for being here. You're live at the Newport Music Hall tonight. Uh, introduce your colleague here real quick. This is my great old friend, Joe Kennedy, on piano. Hi, today. Joe. <laughs> And you have a Columbus native in your band, John Spiker. That's right. John Spiker's playing bass with us tonight, and he's from, he's from, he said he lives seven minutes from here. He grew up seven minutes from here. So, Is John in the house? I think he's went with his dad to get some lunch or something like that. Yeah, dad probably has some chores for him to do or yeah, something. He's raking the, he's raking raking. the leaves. <laughs> right on. Well, uh, well, we'll get one more song out of you, and then you can enjoy your complimentary beverage. All right. Beverage. Well, we'll that somebody has purchased for you here at the Big Room Bar. What are you going to play? Oh, anyone got a quick request? Quick request, throw it at us. Quickie. Don't be shy. Life on a chain. There's a, all right, Life on a Chain. I'll hear it. I live on a chain. You share the same last name. There's a joke. Send a bottle of whiskey Cause you chose You said it made you feel dirty And I was waiting over here For life to begin I was looking for the new thing You were the sunshine Heading 
Time is a great new album on Capitol. Newport Music Hall, grab your tickets tonight. If I could just leave you with this. Pete, as a father, you have an unfair advantage in raising a daughter, but your wife will accuse you of spoiling her and giving in too easily. Um, there's no remedy for that, so just do your best because uh, she'll have to be the heavy. I'm just going to go with it. Yeah, you just got to go with yeah. it. Pete Yorn, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a great studio audience. We return things now to Control Central.